Hey, what's up guys, it's Ben Bonk, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to make jump be uh, jump pads and speed boosts inside of Unity. As you can see, my player's moving around now, jumps just around this high, and then uh, when I go on this orange pad, it's going to be a nice speed boost, and it's really easy to change around. You know, you can make all kinds of different variations of this, from like slowing down your speed, to uh, giving yourself a lot of like friction off, all kinds of different things. So, and then you can also do like a regular um, jump pad and a super jump pad and it's all very very simple to do in the logic that we're doing today so let's get started so for this tutorial all you're going to need is a player movement script i'm assuming you're going to have variables for like movement speed jump speed all that kind of stuff so the first thing that we are going to do is i already have my code written here but for the sake of this tutorial i'll write it out with you guys and i will show you how to do it um, yourself so what we're going to be doing is I'm assuming that you're using a, uh, on a character controller. If you're not using a character controller, you can do the same kind of logic with um, on collision enter. So since I'm using a character controller to move around my character, I'm going to use on controller hit. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to switch our hit dot game object dot tag. So basically what we're doing is we're checking each time with a bunch of different cases that if our um, thing that we're colliding with has the certain tag of um, that we're, if we're checking if it has this certain tag and if it does, we're gonna apply some logic to that. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a speed boost, for, for example. So I'm gonna make a case and then I'm gonna call this speed, uh, this is gonna be the name of our tag, speed boost. Add this, and then I'm going to say, uh, let's say our move speed. What I this is my variable that I can use to control how fast my character goes. I'll say move speed is equal to, and then just an increment. You can use you can store this on a variable, but I don't really like to I'll set this to like something like uh, 25. And then after that, we're just going to break, and that's our logic pretty much. And we can duplicate this thing. And instead, let's say I want to make a jump pad. I can make the name of the tag jump pad. Or what is it in my game? I'm trying to remember. Jump pad. And inside of this, we can say our, that's my jump speed variable. It's equal to 25. So now if we're going to Unity and we test it out, you'll notice that you infinitely have these. Once you go on it, you'll infinitely have it forever. But what I like to do, there's many different ways you can do this. Just I mean, a simple one way, it might not be the most effective, but a simple way to do this is just to make another case for a ground. So this is basically checking if we're grounded. If you have, if you have an if grounded variable, you can just do that or um, just use that instead. We can say if we have the if we're colliding with a tag that has ground, we can set our jump speed to whatever our original jump speed is. And so you can see my original jump speed is 13 or move speed to 13 and my original jump speed is 15. Now instead of just hard coding this, let's say I change around this variable just to tweak it around and we initialize it here, it's not going to be that effective and it's going to uh, just kind of mess some things up if we just do decide to change those initial values. So what I like to do is I like to um, store this in a separate variable so I can see I have my move speed variable and then I also have a float that you can also just say current move speed. It, it's really be called initial move speed. Just make one of those variables. And then in the start function, you're gonna say your like initial move speed or current move speed is equal to your uh, move speed. So this is just storing that this is 13 instead of um, hard coding this. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna set and we're gonna do the exact same logic for our um, jump speed, I'm a jump speed, and the private float of our current jump speed, do the exact same thing just so we know that what our initial, like our starting off jump speed is right when we start this scene. So I'm gonna go back, I'm gonna say, or with the ground, I'm gonna say our jump speed is equal to current jump speed, I'm gonna do the same, our move speed is equal to current move speed. Okay, so once we have that, we can go back into Unity. And what you're going to do is for whatever game object you want to have be a move speed or whatever you want, all you have to do is just make a, add a tag. 
So you can see, you're gonna create your new tag, and you're gonna make sure this tag is the same as this. So you can copy this if you want. And since I already have the tag in my game, you know, you wanna make a new tag and call the speed boost, or whatever you want. And then what you're gonna do is make sure your thing has a, uh, your uh, object has a box collider. And then you are going to um, add, just, all you have to do is add the tag. And the reason I like this is all you have to do, if you wanna change the property or something, all you have to do is swap around the tag. You don't need to do anything else. And so it makes it really, really efficient to make these kind of things. So once I have the tag of speed boost, you see, I have the same kind of tag, this yellow thing, jump pad, see, it's the same tag. So let's click on our player variable and let's start a player uh, game object. And let's start, I'm actually gonna make it so it's not maximizing on play so we can see our variables in action. So you can see, my move speed right now is um, move speed right now is 13. And my jump speed is 15. So it's staying the same pretty much. And then once I go on this orange pad, we'll look at the move speed variable. It goes up to 100, and then it, it'll go down. But I'll still retain some of that speed, just based off the movement speed that I or the movement script that I have. A little bit and it'll slowly go down so it makes a really cool kind of jump it's really easy to do all you're doing is changing around variables then uh, also you see my current jump speed is 15 once I'm on this and I can just do that and uh, now I have 30 jump speed I go back to ground I'll go back and you can do all these kind of things with these different kind of um, do all these different kinds of you know properties like you can make ice dirt you know just Play around with the variables really, that's all you have to do. And um, I shouldn't even save that script, but um, I guess I was just relying on my old uh, movement script. <laughs> but um, yeah, it still works this exact same. As you can see, my move speed, it goes up to 40 actually this time. And this will give me, yeah, even just around the same jump boost. So yeah, that's all you really have to do. Uh, if you want to do this again, you can use on. If you're not using controllers, just use um, on collision enters. And yeah, you can make just you know mess around with the friction, mix around whatever you want. And you can see this is some of the examples. I have ice pads, dirt pads, all this kind of different stuff. And it's really easy thing about going with things. A really easy way about going with things with tags. It's super simple to do. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.